Aside from New Hampshire, the other big thing happening this week, Valentine's Day. And if you're looking for big romance, the San Antonio Zoo may be able to serve up just the right thing for you. But if you're not feeling it, maybe you have an ex who's still bugging you, they have you covered there as well. I'm enjoying this music right here. I like it. <laughs> Audrey is live this morning at the zoo with all the wild details. Good morning, Audrey. Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, if you still are looking for plans for you and your Valentine, then the San Antonio Zoo has got you covered. Check out this spread that they are offering up for Valentine's Day. Right now we have a Joshua Lawrence, who is the director of catering here at the zoo. Good morning, Joshua. Thank you for being here this morning. Thank you. So tell us a little bit about this really great experience you have. Yeah, this is going to be our third year hosting our Wild at Heart Valentine's Day dinner. Uh, we still have seating available at 5.30. Uh, this year we're doing a four course meal. We're going to start with your choice of stuffed mushrooms or fried calamari. We're going to move over to a spinach salad. And then our entrees this year are going to be a seared beer almundi or veal asabuco. Uh, our dessert this year is going to be a signature tiramisu, as we like to call it here. And it's just going to be a great time. We have the hippos behind us and they really enjoy this event just like we do. That is amazing. So if you have an animal lover in your life, you get this beautiful hippo backdrop and these amazing dishes. I wish you guys could smell it and this beautiful setup. How much does it cost and what seats do you still have available? So our VIP seating did sell out, but we still have our standard seating available and those are $90 each and that doesn't include a glass of wine. Very, very special here. So this is the second year you guys are doing it. You know, what's the people's reaction when they come down here and get to experience this? Oh, they love it. They really don't expect us to do this here at the zoo, and everything we do is in-house by our catering team employed by the zoo. So it's our time to show that we're not just hammers and hot dogs here at the zoo. So uh, it's a great time for everybody. Oh my gosh, Joshua, thank you so much. This looks beautiful. But you know what, guys? If you're not really feeling the love mood this year, if you're kind of down in the dumps, the zoo has something else really special for you. I'm joined right now by Kevin Steinberg, who is a animal care specialist Tell me a little bit about what those people who maybe are not feeling the love this year can do also. Well, if they're not feeling the love, we are hosting our inaugural event of Cry Me a Cockroach. So you can purchase a cockroach and name it after your ex, and then we will feed it to one of our animals. Wow, and any other animals if you're not really a cockroach fan? We do. Uh, we are offering rats to be fed to our animals as well. Um, they are frozen and thawed previously. They are not being fed live, um, so you can name those as well. It's $25 for a rat and $5 for a cockroach. Wow, name your ex after one of them. And this is kind of a normal feeding process for your animals here. Yes, that's correct. Um, feeding cockroaches is part of our normal uh, nutritional... Oops, <laughs> nutritional, sorry. <laughs> nutritional um, routine of feeding the animals. They are really nutritious for the animals. They pack a lot of protein and calcium as well as low in fat. So they're kind of like a mini protein bar. So they're really healthy for the animals. <laughs> Very healthy for the animals. How long are you doing this for? We're doing this all the way up until Valentine's Day. So you can purchase um, a rat or a name for a rat or a cockroach name um, up until Friday at 6 p.m. So all day up until 6 p.m. All day, up until 6 p.m. I'm turning red. This is a really <laughs> interesting way to celebrate if you're not into the Valentine's mood. And guys, you can actually watch them feed the cockroaches or the frozen rats to the animals. Just check out the San Antonio Zoo's Facebook page for that one. So there you go. If you're in love and if you're not, the zoo's got you taken care of. Back Audrey, to you. Audrey, you got us wondering what happened. Yeah, we're dying to know. Did, did a cockroach get you? Oh, you didn't see the roach fall on his knee? I thought it fell on me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you handled it pretty well now that we know what happened. I knew it, I knew it had to be something with the roach. Right. Right. Thanks, Audrey. 